Frontier Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Today's game, the Frontier Red Hawks play host to the Wakona Warriors. Hi again, everyone. I'm Chris Collins, along with Alec Eckel and the executive producer of high school basketball on Frontier Community Access Television, Kevin Murphy. Today, an independent game, the last game of the independent schedule for the Frontier Red Hawks. They open the league schedule on Friday against Mohawk. Going up against the Wakona Warriors, the last time these two schools met uh, in the field of battle, so to say, it was on the football field of the Western Mass Championship, which the Wakona Warriors, of course, defeated the Frontier Red Hawks and went on all the way to the States where they lost. This should be an interesting matchup. The last time the uh, Frontier Red Hawks were on this floor, they were taking on the Munson Mustangs, a game that probably could have won, but there were some uneven moments during that game. There was certainly some, some good scoring here and there, and there was some bursts of good play, but there were a lot of uh, errant passes. And again, this is a young team. A team that comes in with only a, a handful of uh, seniors and not a lot of experience. So they're still finding their way. Still looking for that elusive first win. Could it happen tonight? We're going to find out very soon as they take on the Wakona Warriors. Berkshire teams are always a question. You never quite know what you get. We're going to find out soon. Now let's go to the floor for the opening starting lineups. participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. For Wakona at guard, number two, Jeremy Gerard. At guard, number 25, Antoine Five. At center, number five, Tim Clayton. At forward, number 23, Tom O'Connor. And at forward, number 14, Tom Burris. The Tony is coached by Dustin Belcher. And now for Frontier, at guard, number one, Alex Sharp. At guard, number two, Kaylin Evans. At center, number 22, Karsten Carey. At forward, number 12, Jared Muzica. And at forward, number 11, Ben Lenskowski. But here is coached by Ben Barshevsky. The officials for tonight's game are Andy Rogers, Mark Grimoli, and Robert Betzold. Would you please rise for the Pumpkin Ever National Anthem. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. All right, here we go. Mohawk Warriors, or sorry, the, excuse me, the Wakona Warriors and the Frontier Red Hawks. The Mohawk Warriors and the Red Hawks hook it up on Friday night in Buckland. And our cameras will be up there for that game. This should be an interesting matchup. Certainly the last time we saw the Frontier Red Hawks against Munson, they did not really fully utilize <laughs> uh, Karsten Carey in the middle. He only had about six points in that game. And... Uh, Got in foul trouble early. Hopefully, he'll be able to get a few more touches tonight. Of course, this front court for Wakona is pretty tall. Tom O'Connor and uh, also Tom Burris. The Twin Tower Toms as they were on the front court for Wakona. It'll be O'Connor jumping against Karsten Carey, and we are underway from South Deerfield. Alex Sharp. With the ball now, off the control tip. 
Left side to Evans. Kalen, cross court to Lestowski. Ben, looking to feed Karsten. And out of bounds, and it's going to be Wakona ball. That was just a, not a great pass out of the hands of Carey. The Warriors get their first crack at it. Jeremy Girard running the point. Up ahead to Antoine Fye. Back to Girard. Now over to Fye. Antoine trying to move. Dishes it off to Burris. Burris jumper is good. That's good for two. Two nothing Wakona. A little three quarter court pressure now by Wakona. Sharp now being guarded by Fye. Goes left side to Lestowski. In the middle to Evans. Kalen now fakes the pass to Carey. Goes right side to Muzika. And it's going to be a loose ball foul away from the ball. It's going to be, I think, on Kalen Evans who got hooked up with Tom O'Connor. Fly inbounds to Gerard. That's the first foul on Evans, first on the team. Fly now trying to work on Evans. Turn around jumper, top of the key, back iron no good. Lestowski the rebound. Outlet pass to Alex Sharp. Right side of Lestowski. Ben for three. Misses. Carry the rebound. The putback partially blocked. And a fresh shot clock for Frontier. Left side to Sharp. Evans, rather. Cross court to Sharp. Sharp for three. Back iron no good. Rebound pulled down by Gerard. And a long lead pass up ahead to Burris. Turn around jumper from the left elbow is no good. Rebound to Clayton. Back to Burris. Burris drives the baseline off the glass. No good. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Sharp. Sharp, top of the key to Muzika. Left side to Evans. Kalen. Cross court to Alex. Now Evans again. Trying to get some space. Seven to shoot. Muzika. Bounce pass to Listowski. Baseline attempt to pass to Carey. Stolen away by Clayton. Now Gerard. Over to Burris. Burris inside on the baseline to Clayton who lays it up and in for nothing. Wakona. Evans on the right elbow. In the middle of Ben. Mustoski to Sharp. Sharp to Evans again. Carey on high post. Carey trying to work. Triple covered. Now Mustoski now inside to Carey and Carey gets hacked on the way up. He gets fouled. Did not make the shot. But Carey will go to the line to shoot two. So Frontier has uh, been a little cold so far from the floor. Carey's first free throw. No good. He'll get one more. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Raymond Financial Services. Attorney Dan Graves, Deerfield's town moderator. And by Leader Home Centers. Carey, second shot. Does not go. Rebound pulled down by Fye. Up ahead. Pull-up jumper is no good by O'Connor. And Sharp comes away with the rebound. Sharp right side to Evans. Top of the key to Sharp, left side to Listowski. Saski Muzika, baseline jumper, back side of the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by O'Connor. O'Connor very nearly traveled there, but stays with it. Now O'Connor on the right elbow. Jumper, push shot, shot is no good. Rebound, carry. Outlet to Sharp. And now Alex, left side to Listowski. They tried to feed the paint to Carey, and it's stolen away. Great defense so far by Wakona. Burris now. Top of the key. Left side for three by Gerard. Misses badly. Rebound pulled down by Evans. <coughs> Evans to Listowski. Up fakes the three. Listowski kicks it over to Muzika. Back to Listowski. Listowski to Sharp. To Evans. 
Stasowski trying to get loose. Carey feeds the paint to music and layup is no good. Put back follow is no good by Evans. And the second effort put up and in by Muzika. And finally, the Red Hawks are on the board, 4-2. <clears throat> hands it off to O'Connor. Over to Girard. Back to Fai. O'Connor on the right elbow. Feeds the paint. Jumper in the lane is up and good by Tom Burris. 6-2, Okona by four. Very nearly a turnover in the backcourt. <clears throat> Sharp up ahead to Evans. Evans right side to Carey. Carey penetrates off the glass and in. Strong move by Karsten Carey going right to the basket. 6-4, Okona. Three minutes left to go in the first quarter. Five crosses half court to O'Connor. Breaking away from Muzika. And this is Burris. Jumper in the lane, no good. He's going to knock loose, and it's going to be Frontier Basketball. A couple of subs into the game for the Red Hawks. Donovan Hoffman is in. Also in, seeing his first minutes, is Owen Morse. Listowski and Evans will sit. Now Sharp crosses half court. Right side to... Morse. Now Hoffman. Back to Sharp. And Hoffman gets double teamed. Carey, though, gets the, the loose ball. Cross court to Morse. Morse drives the baseline, running one hander from behind. The backboard does not go. Hoffman now launches a three. That this is everything. And rebound pulled down by Burris. Here comes Wakona. Burris trying to go coast to coast. Gets a, a ball knocked away by Morse. So they'll have to start all over again. O'Connor checks out for Wakona, and Chad Howes is into the game, seeing his first minutes. Five inbound. And I think he took too long to get the ball in, so a break for Frontier. They can come back and tie or take the lead with a bucket here. Music inbounds to Sharp. Alex feeds Carey. Carey drawing double coverage, and he traveled. And they really had him bottled up. I mean, Wakona is very, very tight with the man-to-man -man defense, and every time Karsten Carey touches the ball, two guys come over and double him, and that's going to make for a long night at the office if that keeps up. A little bit of a press now by Frontier. Fai lobs it up ahead to Howes. Howes inside, and it's kicked back. Howes now on the left elbow to Fai. <coughs> Fai try to work on Sharp. Pull-up jumper does not go. Rebound tip back out. Howes after it. He saves it. Rolls it to O'Connor. And they're going to call it travel. Kevin Hubon just checked into the game for uh, the Wakona Warriors. Yazik is out for Frontier. And into the game for the first time is Peter Carey. So both carries are on the floor now. Morse to Hoffman, left side to Sharp. Lob inside. Oh, what a beautiful block by O'Connor on Karsten Carey. Left side to Howes. Howes drives through. He gets blocked. Karsten outlet to Sharp. Up ahead to Hoffman. Back to Sharp. Sharp for three. He does not go. Rebound pulled down by Clayton. Not a lot of great shooting here in this first quarter. 6-4 is the score. Hoffman now gets a hand on O'Connor. O'Connor is able to get away. This is off to Fai. Over to Huban. O'Connor now. Right side to Fai. Fai spots up for three. Hits it. So Tuan with the triple. Makes it 9-4. 42 seconds to go first quarter. We'll corner by five. Sharp. Left side to Morse. To Hoffman. Hoffman feeds Peter Carey, and he travels. Again, great defense by O'Connor. O'Connor's making life difficult for both Carey brothers out there. 29.4 seconds to go in the quarter. It's 9-4. Wakona. Up ahead to Connor Noyes into the game for... Wakona. 
They're throwing it around. Now Gerard to O'Connor on the left elbow. O'Connor loses control of it. Stolen back by Frontier. Sharp. Up ahead to Hoffman. Hoffman with one second left. Jumper at the buzzer is an air ball. And that will do it in the first quarter. We played one quarter from Goodnow Gymnasium at the end of one. It's Wakona 9, Frontier 4. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. This is the first of a week full of, uh, holiday week full of high school basketball. We have, uh, of course, these two uh, sh schools go at it again tomorrow night on this floor, though the girls will go at it. Wakona girls versus the Frontier girls. And then on Friday, we travel to Buckland to open the regular season schedule for the league with Frontier taking on the Mohawk Warriors. Uh, definitely a winnable game there, I think, for Frontier. And uh, they're still looking for their first win of the year. That was not a... Great first quarter shooting-wise for either team. I think defensively, uh, the Wakona Warriors had the better of it. They really, really manned up on the Frontier Red Hawks and made life difficult for especially Karsten Carey. We finished with one field goal. One field goal for Jared Muzika. That's all the scoring so far for the Red Hawks. Fiberis, Connor Noyes, O'Connor, and Gerard, the five out there for the Wakona Warriors. And it looks like the starting five for Frontier coming back out to start the second quarter. Fine out with the ball to Gerard. Left side. It goes to Fine on the elbow. Back in the middle to Gerard. 13 to shoot. O'Connor jumper in the lane, no good. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Alex Sharp. Sharp ahead to Evans. Back to Sharp. Between the circles. Sharp right side to Evans. Back to Sharp. Over to Evans again. Bounce pass to Carey. Carey draws double coverage. Back out to Mostoski. Sharp for three. Yes! Big bucket there for the Red Hawks. Cuts the lead to two. 9-7. Again, some front court pressure by Frontier. Fire runs it up. Bounces over to Gerard. And Gerard over to Fye. Fye's pass knocked out of bounds by Evans. 11 to shoot for Wakona. They'll keep it. Quick substitution, five checks out, and Kevin Huban checks in for Wakona. O'Connor for three, does not go. Rebound though, pulled down by Burris. Ball stolen away though by Frontier. Sharp over to Muzika, fakes the three. <clears throat> Penetrates, slip, partially stripped. Lestoski goes baseline, reverse layup is good. Timeout on the floor, we'll take the break. 6.33 to go in the half. We're all tied up at 9. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Echo, and Kevin Murphy out here at Good Note Gymnasium. That little reverse layup by... Ben Lestoski ties this game up at nine. Well, the Wakona lead has been as large as five in this game. And uh, Frontier starting to show some signs of life. A couple of nice steals and see if they can't put uh, together a few turnovers and a couple of buckets and get this game open a little bit. I think Frontier is moving the ball well. It's just have not been sinking their shots. That's been sort of the story of the last couple of games. And though this is a much better defensive team than Munson was. But they're hanging in there, are the uh, Red Hawks. Uband inbound for the Warriors to Gerard. 
Back to Huban. Huban up ahead to Burris. And Gerard. Right side to O'Connor. Hands off to Huban. Back to O'Connor. Eight to shoot. Now Burris trying to drive through and draws the foul. And a blocking foul, I believe, against Jared Muzica. His first team second. Not a lot of fouls in this game, which has been good. Good flow. Burris' first free throw is no good. He'll get one more. <clears throat> second one, no good. Mixes them both, but a put back and in by O'Connor, who was right there to pick up the uh, rebound. That makes it 11 to 9. Shot now. Right side to Evans. Kim. Trying to work on O'Connor. To carry in a high post. Carry. Looking to turn around jumper. In front of the iron, no good. He carries just been harassed every time he's touched the ball. Burris. Left side to Gerard. To O'Connor. Back in the middle to Cuban. Left side to Gerard. Now O'Connor on the right elbow. And guarded by Evans. Trying to push through. And then a blocking foul on Kale and Evans. And that's going to be two on him. He may have to sit. Yep. <clears throat> going to bring in Owen Morse. You've got to get Kalen out of there because he has two fouls. Team's third. Five to throw it in to O'Connor, but could get it to him. The pass to Sharp. Sharp drives through off the glass. Does not go. But it's going to be a blocking foul. And that's going to be on uh, Kevin Huban. Did a good job just to even get back. And now Sharp will shoot too. First shot is good. You might have heard Alex Sharp and Carsten Carey on some of our broadcasts of Frontier Girls basketball. They are the one of the teams we use. Second shot does not go. Rebound pulled down by Tom O'Connor. Outlet to Fye back into the game. Fye tries to drive through. Gets bumped on the way through by Alex, I believe. Actually, we'll see what they get. Don't assume anything. It is on Alex. First, his first team's fourth. Non-shooting. Fire looking inbound, he does to a breaking Burris. Jumper in the lane is good. Tom Burris has six points already in this game. Six of his team's 13. Mostoski now to Sharp. Right side to Morse. Morse driving through. Off the glass, does not go. Good look though. They're down, pulled down by Burris. Burris pulls back to O'Connor. To Five. Over to Cuban back over to O'Connor right side. O'Connor being guarded by Lestowski very closely. Yuban calls the play. Five. Six seconds to shoot. O'Connor, jumper from the corner, is good for three. 16 10, largest lead of the game so far for O'Connor. Musica to carry on the overplay. Terry lays it up and into the easy bucket. 16-12. Five now. Being guarded by Sharp. To Hubon. Back to Fye. To Hubon. Left side to Burris. Burris feeds O'Connor. O'Connor in the paint. Fade away Jay. Back of the iron. No good. Rebound Musica. Outlet to Morse. Morris bounce pass to carry in the paint and foul. We're probably going to get, I think, Burris for a bump on carry. The non shooting. Team's fourth, his first. Sharp to throw it in. Throws it out deep to Mostoski. 
Morris drives through, bounce pass to Carey on the baseline. He gets stripped on the way up. Nastoski after him. Ball knocked around, and Fye comes away with it. It's a foot race. Fye lays it up, and it goes. Morris now trying to drive through. Hook shot in the lane, no good. Spins out. And rebound controlled by Clayton of Wakona. Right side to Burris to O'Connor, top of the key. Back to Burris. Burris drives through. Pull up jumper in the lane, spins out. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Sharp. Alex up ahead to Morris. Morris back to Sharp. Bounce pass to Morris, right wing. Back to Alex. Sharp goes left side, stops, cuts back. Over to Morris. Tend to shoot. <laughs> Pass intended for Sharp hit the referee. And we're going back the other way. And Gerard now to find the backcourt. Lobs up ahead to Burris. Burris back out to five to O'Connor. Right side to Gerard to five. Five pulls up over the top of Sharp and misses badly. Rebound, Yuzika to Sharp, ahead to Morse. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. 2.15 to go in the half on the scoreboard. It's the Wakona Warriors 18, Frontier Red Hawks 12. This is Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Remember, you can catch all of these broadcasts of Frontier Basketball and Frontier Sports in general, along with all of our content from FCAT at the FCAT Media page at youtube.com. There for you on demand 24-7. Lots of hits on these sports games, and we're happy to be able to provide the service. Nastoski <laughs> to inbound for Frontier. He does to Noah Graves just into the game. Graves to Lestoski. High post to Musica. Of course, we're not, this Wakona defense is really, really torrential. Turnaround jumper, but Carey in the lane is good. Count it to one, so Carey has equaled his point total from the last game against Munson. Three field goals in the first half and a chance to make it a three point play. Foul shot is no good. Burris the rebound for Wakona. Gerard now, right side to O'Connor. O'Connor to Burris, hands off to Five. Five goes up strong, no good through double coverage. Graves the rebound. Noah hands it off to Lestoski. Ben to Karsten, top of the key. Karsten finds Musica. Turn around layup is partially blocked. Good effort though. Rebound pulled down by the Warriors. Here comes Burris for Wakona. Burris gets stripped, loses control, back out to O'Connor, to Gerard. Gerard takes a deep three and hits it. 21-14, seven point lead for Wakona, their largest. Sharp now, right side to Nastoski. They got a holding uh, penalty on, <laughs> foul on Phi. But they gave it to they give it to Clayton. No, it's on. It should be on Phi. Non shooting. Yuzika now on the baseline. This is it back out. Now Sharp, in the right corner. Sharp running one hander spins out. And again, deep rebound goes to Yuzika. Fresh thirty. Sharp. Mustoski to Graves. Try to no look pass to Carey in the paint. Ball's not loose. Out of control, held ball, possession goes to Frontier, I think. Yep. I'm not sure what Bacona is clapping about because the ball ends up in Frontier's hands. Dostoski to inbound with a fresh 30, 46.5 seconds to go in the half. Into Graves. Graves. Right side to Sharp. In the corner of the Musica. Back out to Sharp. Sharp for Dostoski. 
Back to Sharp, top of the key. Big three ball, does not go. Yuzuka crashes the boards. Possession arrow favors Wakona this time. And the Warriors will take it back with 32 seconds exactly left in period number two. Five throws it into Girard. For five. Head to O'Connor to five. Five back over to Girard. They'll set it up. There's about one second differential shot clock to game clock. Burris in the corner. Back out to O'Connor. O'Connor to Burris. Burris tries to run right side, kicks it back out to five. Five, pull up jumper is no good at the, bu at the buzzer and that'll do it. We have played one half of basketball from South Deerfield. At the end of one half, it's Wakona 21, Frontier 14, second half action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. We're at the half here at Goodno Gymnasium, and at the end of one half of play, it's the Wakona Warriors 21, the Frontier Red Hawks 14. Wakona Warriors came out strong, especially defensively, and they've held the Red Hawks to only 14 points in the first two quarters. Leading scorer for Frontier is Karsten Kerr. He has six points. Four for Alex Sharp and a field goal each for Ben Lestowski and Jared Muzika. For the Bracona Warriors, three players with six points. Tom Burris, Tom O'Connor, and Antoine Fai. And three points for Jeremy Girard. And uh, Frontier Red Hawks, I think, need to just start making their shots. Clearly, it's been a defensive effort that they have not come up against this year. This is probably the best defense they've seen so far this year. And uh, we'll see if they can find a way to get around the Warriors' defensive set as we get ready to start the third quarter. And what's been a relatively quick game. That was a relatively quick first half. And uh, we'll see what the Red Hawks bring out to start this third quarter. Ben Barshevsky talking it over with his guys. Frontiers moved the ball very, very well. They defended pretty well. They just have not been making shots in this game. And part of that's because they've been well defended. We'll see if they can't find a way to solve these Warriors. Karsten Carey seems to be their best offensive bet at this point if they can find a way to get the ball into him. But he's drawn an awful lot of coverage whenever the ball's near him. Ben Lestoski inbound in front of us. He throws it in the backcourt to Ben Sharp, and here we go. Alex Sharp, brother, here we go. Sharp down. Hawks moving left to right. Sharp pushes over to Evans. And pass in the corner to Lestoski. Knocked out of bounds by Lacona. It'll still be Frontier Basketball. Lestoski. Lestowski left side to Carey. Carey to a breaking sharp shot, no good. Evans tried to put it back up. Hard block by Burris. Over to O'Connor. O'Connor to Girard. Right side to Burris. To O'Connor, top of the key. To Burris, a little give and go. Burris put up jumper in the lane, does not go. Lestowski the rebound. To Sharp. To Lestowski. 
Bounce pass to Evans, and they throw it away, all the way to the other end of the floor, and it's going to be out of bounds. Wakona basketball. So that did not look like it worked, well, worked out very well. Fly to inbound. Out to Burris. To Gerard for three. Bang! Well, he can shoot that three. And ben Barshevsky wants to talk about it. Not looking very happy right now. The lead is 10. 6.53 to go in the third quarter. At the end, uh, actually, on the scoreboard, it's Wakona 24. Frontier 14. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. That was probably not the way that Frontier wanted to start the second half. I want to thank our underwriters making this broadcast possible. They are Raymond Financial Services, offices in South Deerfield. Attorney Dan Graves, he's Deerfield's town moderator. He has a law practice in Greenfield and leader home centers. Multiple locations in Franklin County and in southern Vermont. So Akona, actually it's going to be Frontier Basketball. After that three ball, Yuzika inbounds to Evans. Back to Sharp. Sharp, being guarded by Fye in the middle to Yuzika. Yuzika to Evans. Back to Sharp. Sharp very nearly traveled, almost dragged that foot. Now Muzika to Sharp, the right elbow to Evans. Seven seconds to shoot. Sharp to Muzika, top of the key, jumper. Does not go. O'Connor pulls down the rebound. Long outlet pass to Burris. Burris takes it back out. Three ball by Gerard. Front rim no good. Out of bounds. It's going to be Frontier Basketball going the other way. Muzika to inbound for the Red Hawks. Goes over to Evans. Evans jogs it past half court. Right side to Sharp. Sharp tries to feed Karst to carry down low. It's going to be a foul on Connor Noyes. As every time they try to feed Carey, he is getting just swallowed up by blue shirts. So that's the first one on Noyes, first on the team for this half, non-shooting. Sharp to throw it in, lobs it back out to Evans. Okay, and now, left side to Sharp. Sharp to Gustavski, right side to Evans. Evans bounce pass to Muzika, he's in big trouble. Uh, bullet pass inside to Carey, turn around jumper on the lane. Is no good, but Karsten will go to the line to shoot a couple here. Karsten Carey's first shot is good. He will get one more. Carey's second one does not go. Burst the rebound over to O'Connor. O'Connor trying to drive through, pulls back. Burst for three, bang! Wow, from downtown, 27-15, 12-point lead for Wakona, their largest. Evans to carry. Carey drives through, runner off the glass is no good. Burris the rebound. Red Hawks are ice cold right now. O'Connor over to Gerard. Back to Fi. Back to Gerard. Fi. And I think we're gonna have a foul on O'Connor. His first team's third of the half. Frontier has yet to commit a foul in this half. Left side to Listowski. Carey. And that's going to be an offensive foul. I think Carey, actually, it's going to be on Sharp. His second. It's the first foul on the team in this half. Gerard now with the ball, right side. Bounce pass to O'Connor on the baseline. O'Connor 
to Burris. Burris, pull up jumper in the lane, front iron no good, carry the rebound. Out to Sharp. Alex up ahead to Kalen. Kalen stops, back to Sharp, left side. Bounce pass to carry in the baseline, and a, a reach-in foul I think is gonna be called on Connor Noyes. I mean, I'm just amazed at how aggressive the Wakona defense is. That's two on Connor, four on the team. Sharp inbounds to Evans. Evans, jumper from the corner is good for two. That makes the lead 27 to 17. 10 point lead for Wakona. Gerard to O'Connor on the elbow. Connor to Burris. Back to O'Connor. He launches it from deep. Rebound controlled by Nizika. Sharp. Runs across court. It's a screen from Nolan. Jared, excuse me. Carry now. Down low to Nizika. Gets rejected hard by Burris. But he got more hand than ball. That's going to be a foul on Burris and a couple of shots for Jared Musica. That's a third foul on Burris. Two more and we're in the bonus. Musica's first shot is no good. Fry is out, Noise is out, and Huban's back in as is Tim Clayton. Musica's second one, front rim, but Carey gets the rebound. The putback is good. So they got two, but it took them an extra moment. The lead is cut down to eight. 27-19, 3.34 to go third quarter. Huban. And that's going to be on Evans, I believe. Two white on the hold, and Kalen's going to have to come off. And Donovan Hoffman is back in. That's three on Kalen Evans. Inbound pass to Easton Eberwine just into the game for Wakona. Eberwine in the middle to Huban. To Gerard. O'Connor down low. Kicks it back out. Running through the lane with a shot is Huban. No good. Rebound pulled down by Wakona. Try to feed the paint. Stolen back by Frontier. Alex Sharp to Wistowski. Back to Sharp. Going around the perimeter. Hoffman, cross court. Wistowski and Yuzika to Sharp. Sharp, open for three. Back iron, no good. Out of bounds. Still going to be Frontier basketball with a fresh 30. Sharp to inbound behind the basket. Actually, that's Lestowski that's going to inbound. Out to Hoffman. Back over to Lestowski. Ben, back to Hoffman. Hoffman's pass stolen nicely by Hubon. And he gets bumped on the way up. Hubon's not a very tall kid, but boy, he read that perfectly. And the foul is going to be on Lestowski, I believe. That's going to get Owen Morse up off the bench. Quick inbound pass. Cuban from the corner. Side of the iron, no good. Rebound tipped out to Sharp. It's actually the foul was on Alex. That's his third. So he'll be coming off pretty soon, I think. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman trying to lob it into Carey on the baseline. Gets it to him, lays it up and in. Nice little lead pass. Carson Carey's got 11 points in this game. Lead cut back to six, 27-21. Gerard now. Bounce pass over to Eberwine. Back to Gerard. O'Connor. Part shot partially blocked by Carey. Outlet pass goes to Hoffman. Donovan. Oh, yeah. Took out a little skip step. And now it's a travel. Sharp is out. Owen Morris is in. And coming into the game is Noah Graves and Donovan Hoffman. Or Brandon, or excuse me, Donovan Hoffman will take a seat. Eubank now running it up. Right side to 
to Chad Howes. Now in the middle to Fi. Jumper is no good. Graves the rebound. Outlet to Morse. Morse up ahead. Now Carey in the lane. Short armed it. Gets the rebound back. Kicks it back out to Lustowski. To Muzika. Now Howes. Morse rather. Lustowski. Three ball is good. And just like that. The lead is cut to three. Time out on the floor. We'll take the break. 111 to go in the third. It is Wakona 27, Frontier 24. This is Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. By as much as 12 in this quarter, the Frontier Red Hawks have cut this lead back to three on a Ben Listowski three pointer. Ben Barshevsky talking it over with his guys. Both coaching staffs have a lot to say, apparently, because they took a little extra time on that timeout. Fight inbound it for the Warriors. Throws it into Hubon. Left side to Burris back in the end with the three fouls. Fi over Burris. Burris in the left corner. And guarded by Graves. Right side it goes to Hubon. Hubon bounce pass to Burris. Burris lobs it into O'Connor. Ball's knocked loose. Graves up ahead. Dolistowski lays it up and in. And here come the Red Hawks. 27 26. Wakona. 36 seconds left in the quarter. O'Connor tries to drive. Can't. Clayton now, back out to Fye. Fye over to Hubon, back to Fye, top of the key. O'Connor, over to Fye, Fye for three, no! And Graves couldn't get loose to get the rebound, and fresh 30, and the shot clock is off, 13 seconds left. Hubon, left side to Burris. Over to Fye, six seconds left. Five kicks it back out. Hubon for three. Side of the iron, no good. Musica the rebound. And that will end the third quarter. We have played three from Gano Gymnasium. We have the three. It is Wakona 27. Frontier 26. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Well, the Frontier Red Hawks have never led in this game. However, they definitely outscored. The Wakona Warriors 14 to six in that third quarter. They now trail by only one point, 27-26. So this could be a very interesting final eight minutes of this one. Again, from Goodno Gymnasium tomorrow night, the girls will go at it, Wakona and Frontier. And then on Friday night, Frontier travels to Mohawk rivalry game against the Mohawk Warriors to start the league schedule. Fly inbounds into the backcourt to Huban. Right side to O'Connor. Back over to Fye. Burris now, turnaround jumper in the lane is no good. Battle for the rebound, and it's going to be Frontier basketball. As they're going to get somebody from McCone going over the back, and if it's Burris, that's four on him. It is. He's going to have to come off. That's a big, uh, a big development there. He's been a big part of their offense tonight. Nine points. Braves now with the ball for Frontier. Frontier looking to take their first lead of the game. Morse now over to Listowski. Back to Morse, top of the key. Morse to Listowski. Back out to Morse. Morse trying to drive through. This is back to Graves. Graves for three. Good! And that's the first lead of the game for the Red Hawks, 29-27. Gerard now, left side to Huban, to five. Five, oh, he almost traveled. Right side of Huban running, a scoop shot in the lane is no good. Rebound pulled down by Carey. Outlet pass to Morse. Morse stops, cuts. Cross court to Graves, back to Morse. 
Owen now with a bounce pass to Carey in the baseline. Reverse layup is good. Kirsten Carey, what a play. 31-27, four-point lead for Frontier. Oh, that was pretty. Timeout, Wakona. We'll take the break. 6.40 to go in the game. Here come the Red Hawks. Frontier 31, Wakona 27. Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So just like that, the Frontier Red Hawks have come back and have taken their first lead, four-point lead, courtesy of a Karsten Carey very nifty reverse layup on the feed from Owen Morse. And suddenly, Wakona can't hit a shot, and Frontier can't miss. And it's been the opposite for most of the game. And the Frontier defense has really stepped up and has caused all kinds of havoc for the Wakona Warriors. Tim Burris, or Tom Burris, rather, on the bench with four fouls. He has nine of his team's points in this game, and he's been a force out there. When he and O'Connor have been uh, playing that two-man game, it's been very effective. He'll be on the bench for a little while. Fye, who's also dangerous, inbounds to Gerard, who's back into the game to run the point. Fye now, top of the key. It's back to Cuban, to Fye. Fye being guarded by Graves. O'Connor back to Fye. Huban now, left side to Gerard. Nine to shoot. Right side to Fye. Fye, trying to penetrate. Finally pulls up, takes a jumper, hits the glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Music. A great defense by Frontier again. Mistoski now to Owen Morse. And Morse trying to pass to Graves, who was breaking and went behind him. And that's a, a turnover that will give the ball back to the Warriors. Wakona now. That's Gerard. Right side to O'Connor. Connor lobs it in the middle to Burris, is back into the game. Three-pointer from the left side, misses badly by Gerard. Graves gets the rebound. Graves, right side to Morse. Morse trying to feed the top of the key to Muzika. And again, not a great pass. It's stolen back by Fye, and Morse commits the foul. And I believe Post it. Yep, that's the six team foul. One more, one to one and one. Five to throw it in. Back to Gerard. Inside to O'Connor, back to Gerard. Back over to five. Oh, he almost traveled. Stolen though by Sharp. Sharp now, runs it up right side. Frontier still has a four point lead. 31 27 to 5, 21 to go. Carey will try to feed him in the paint. Goes through his legs, stolen back by Wakona. O'Connor, right side. Three-pointer by Burris, misses badly. Rebound pulled down by Frontier, sharp now. Suddenly Wakona has gone ice cold. Only six points in this half. Carey, lob pass down low, turn it on off the glass and in. 33-27, Frontier by six, their largest lead. Burris to Gerard, right side to five. Back to Gerard. Cross court to Burris into O'Connor. O'Connor on the baseline passes it to Clayton. And wave off that basket, shot no good. Foul is gonna be on Lestoski, his first team's fifth. Huban inbound for Wakona. Throws it out deep to Burris. To Gerard. To Huban, back over to Burris. Burris fakes the shot, Gerard down, Huban. They're throwing it around the perimeter. Great man to man defense by Frontier. Burris, pull up jumper over Sharp. Does not go. Sharp gets the rebound. But oh, there's a lid on that Wakona basketball, uh, that basket right now. Sharp. Right side to Lestoski. To Sharp. Left side to Graves. Alex. Right side to Lestoski. Back to Sharp. Sharp. Right side to Lestoski. They tried to feed the paint to 
Uzika, but he wasn't ready for it. Tied up with a Wakona player, and the Warriors get it back. O'Connor to Gerard for three. Air ball. Rebound control by Wakona, though. Now O'Connor trying to drive through to Gerard. Back to O'Connor. Gerard for three. No good. Carry the rebound. Wow, six points in this half for Wakona. That's the story right now. They cannot hit the broadside of a barn. Graves now. Owen. Lost court. Mistoski now. Music at top of the key is sharp. Sharp. Pull up jumper. It's good for two. Timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. 2.55 to go in the game. Right now, the Frontier Redhawks are opening up the game. It's an eight point lead, 35 27 Frontier. This is Red Hawk basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Well, how's this for a stat? The Frontier Redhawks have outscored the Wakona Warriors in this half 21 to 6. After they could not really shoot the ball much at all in the first half, they have come alive offensively in the second half. And more importantly, they've come alive defensively, and they have made Wakona Warriors, the Wakona Warriors' lives a bit miserable. Wakona's had some shots, but they haven't shot well at all in this half. And Frontier can keep their uh, heads about them. They're going to get their first win of the season if this, this present trend continues. But three minutes is a long time in high school basketball with only an eight-point lead. Hubont inbound for the Wakona Warriors. Throws it into Gerard. Gerard crosses half court, right side to O'Connor. Back to Gerard to Huban. Huban. Left side to O'Connor, and O'Connor gets bumped by Musica. And now that's going to be a one and one, I believe. Or that should be that should be a foul. That should be the 17th foul. Maybe, yeah, maybe not. The count must be off. But in any event, it's two fouls on Muzika. They're going to say it's a possession foul. They throw it out to Gerard. Now O'Connor, Gerard, right side to Fye. Fye to Gerard. Great defense by Frontier. They have really stepped it up. Fye trying to make room for a shot. They finally fire one up. No good. Ball knocked loose, and if that's on Muzika, that's going to be his third. Or do they say it? No, just run out of bounds. So out of bounds off Muzika. Fresh 30 for O'Connor. O'Connor. Now Gerard for three. And finally, a basket for Wakona. That trims the Frontier lead to five, 35-30. Frontier, well, Wakona rather, has shot three threes. That's it in this half. Carry now. The music on a high post. To Sharp. Left side to Evans. Kalen to, Car to Karsten. Turn on hook shot. No good. Wakona the rebound. Here come the Warriors. Under two minutes to go. Gerard. Left side to Burris. And. Got a foul on Muzika. And now we're into the one and one. And that's going to be, I believe, three on Jared. Yep. And a one and one for Tim Clayton. First one is good. And he'll get one more. That cuts the lead to four. And a chance to cut it back to three. Second one is good. Got them both. 35-32. Now Muzika crosses the timeline. The screen from Sharp. Trying to feed carry in the low post. Steal by Clayton. Clayton lays it up and in. And just like that, it's a one-point game. 35-34. Inbound pass to Evans. 120 to go in the game. Evans to Sharp. Sharp to Evans, nearly stolen again by Clayton. Mastoski 
Trying to feed Sharp on the baseline. Stolen by Five. Five, coast to coast, lays it up and in. And just like that, the lead is back to Arcona. 36-35, a minute to go. Evans, dish to carry on the baseline. Out to Musica, to Sharp, top of the key. Lestoski to Evans. Evans to Sharp. Oh, and Sharp loses, falls down, loses control of the ball. Timeout, Wakona. And the Warriors charge to the bench. All the momentum in the world. A one-point lead. They'll have the ball 35.3 seconds when we come back from this break. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So the situation is this. The Frontier Red Hawks had an eight-point lead with two minutes left. And just like that, the Wakona Warriors, courtesy of a couple of turnovers, have come back and have taken a one-point lead. The Alex Sharp turnover moments ago was recovered by Fi. He was able to get the timeout called. And so you're going to have 36, 35.3 seconds left to go on the game clock. 30-second shot clock. And we'll see if the Frontier defense can hold the War Wakona Warriors here. And maybe get a chance to come back at the other end and uh, take this lead back and possibly take the win. All right. We're going to the inbound in front of the Frontier bench, running out of a stack. And they get it into O'Connor. O'Connor over to Gerard. Up ahead to Clayton. Clayton back to Gerard. O'Connor, and they're going to have to foul. They do. So O'Connor will go to the line for a one and one. The foul is going to be on Evans. That's four fouls on Evans. O'Connor with one and one. First shot does not go. Rebound not loose. O'Connor, the putback is good. Followed his own shot. Sharp bringing it up, 14 seconds left. Timeout Frontier. So when we come back, it's gonna go right down to the wire. 12.1 seconds left. Frontier with the ball, but Wakona with the lead. Wakona 38, Frontier 35. We'll come back for the exciting finish next on Frontier Community Access Television. All right, here's the scenario. Frontier Red Hawks have the ball. There will be no shot clock. 12.1 seconds to go in this game. The Wakona Warriors off the missed front end of the one and one by Tom O'Connor. He was able to get his own rebound and put it back off the glass and in. That gives Wakona a 38-35 lead. And Frontier will have a chance for a three-pointer to either tie this game and send it to overtime but they need at least a three in the next 12 seconds to keep their hopes alive here. Wistowski now, driving through. Lays it off the glass and in, timeout. That makes it a 38-37 lead. It only took a couple of seconds off the clock. And now they're gonna have to put on a major full court press. They're gonna put both Carey brothers out there for some height and what all Kona has to do is kill the next 7.8 seconds. My guess is someone's probably going to foul. Frontier will probably try and foul a Wakona Warrior. And they're still in a one and one Or they'll try for a steal. We will see what, happens, what ends up happening. But this has been a dandy game. Brought to you in part, of course, by our friends at Raymond Financial Services in South Deerfield. See them for all your financial needs. By attorney Dan Graves, he's Deerfield's town moderator. He is a practicing lawyer in Greenfield. And by Leader Home Centers, with locations in Vermont and in Franklin County. See them for all of your home repair needs. Let us see what happens here. Burris will inbound it for Wakona. Peter Carey right in front of him. The inbound to O'Connor, back to Burris. 
And they're going to get a foul. And if it's on Cameron Evans, that's the end of his night. I believe that's five on him. If it's on Kalen, yeah, it's five. So it's going to be a one and one. So Kalen fouls out with two points. Five point one seconds left. Burris, big foul shots here. If he makes them both, he'll probably seal the deal. And the first one does not go. Battle for the rebound. O'Connor battling for it. And he gets fouled with 1.4 seconds left. And so Tom O'Connor will go to the line. 1.4 seconds. Again, this is still an action down. We're under two shots, so he'll get two here. First one. Does not go. He'll get one more. So we might not be done. O'Connor's second shot. Does not go. And a shot at the buzzer is no good. The final score, the Lacona Warriors, 38, and the Frontier Red Hawks, 37. We'll come back and wrap it up on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Well, they came close, but the Frontier Red Hawks came up one point short tonight against the Wakona Warriors. Wakona pretty much controlled the first half, but Frontier had a great second half where they very much outscored the Warriors and ended up with an eight-point lead with two minutes left to go, but they couldn't quite hang on to it. A couple of tough uh, breaks, a couple of turnovers, and it ends up being a 38-37 win for the Wakona Warriors. So Frontier still looking for that elusive first win of the season. They will take another shot Friday night when they go up to Buckland to take on the Mohawk Warriors in the opening uh, game of league play. The final numbers from this one, Jeremy Gerrard and Tom Burris had nine points each for Wakona, eight each for Tom O'Connor, and Antoine Fye and four points for Tim Clayton. For the Frontier Red Hawks, Karsten Carey had 15 points, nine for Ben Lestowski, six for, or excuse me, um, three for Noah Graves, and two each for Jared Buzika, Alex Sharp, and Kalen Evans, who fouled out with two points. So Frontier still winless of the season, but they can change that Friday night at Buckland. An rivalry game with the Mohawk Warriors. We'll have that for you uh, on this same station, Frontier Community Access Television. Thanks for watching. For my camera people, Alec Echo, and the executive producer of Frontier Red Hawk Basketball, Kevin Murphy. My name is Chris Collins. The final score, Wakona 38, Frontier 37. So long. Thanks for watching Frontier Community Access Television.